Researchers have found a way to rejuvenate the brain of mice, the team led by Professor Darius Rakus from the University of Wrocław found a way to rejuvenate the brain of old mice. Researchers have shown that if the breakdown of glycogen in the brain is sufficiently slowed down, senior mice are ready to absorb new information. And the connections in their brains look like those of juvenile mice. Polish scientists have checked whether brain aging can be stopped or even reversed. They confirmed the hypothesis that this can be done by slowing down the breakdown of glycogen in the brain. The enzyme inhibitor was delivered to mice by injections in the abdomen. The research was published in the journal Aging Cell. Glycogen is a polysaccharide, consists of thousands of glucose residues, in which the energy derived from the sugar we consume is packed. Glycogen is stored in the liver and muscles. It turns out, however, that it is also of great importance in the brain and in the formation of memory traces. Astrocytes are cells that occupy the space between neurons. Humans have about as many brain cells as there are neurons. Some time ago, in a series of various studies, it was discovered that astrocytes to create lactate, it can be associated with sourdough, from broken glycogen. Later research showed that this lactate is essential in the formation of memory traces. Astrocytes secrete lactate, but only when the animal is learning. Thanks to this, the neural pathway next to these astrocytes is stimulated. Lactate therefore causes memory traces by strengthening nearby synaptic connections in order to check what this lactate is used for in the brain. Foreign studies administered a glycogen breakdown inhibitor to chickens through the skull, a substance that slows down the breakdown of glycogen and thus blocks the formation of lactate in the brain. It turned out that the chickens had poorer memory and learning. They couldn't remember which color of the balls they were fed. They had a terrible, bitter taste. Poles conducted research on similar processes, but it turned out that another team overtook them with publication. Scientists from Wrocław and Warsaw decided to conduct research in a different area to check what the inhibition of lactate production would cause in the brain of old individuals. There were hypotheses that a different mechanism would work in the mature brain. Indeed, the result was very interesting. Old two-year-old mice. Mice live so short that they are 70 to 80 years old when compared to the age of humans, after two weeks of giving them glycogen breakdown blockers. They performed better in behavioral tests. They were ready to take on challenges, explore new objects in your environment and get to know the new space more than the well-known one. And with curiosity and readiness to accept new information, it is usually weak in senior mice. The team also studied changes in the brain structure of these old mice. After two weeks of the experiment, the synapses in the mouse brains changed shape. They became like young mice. They were ready to accept new information. Another conclusion from this experiment was that when lactate is deficient, 
The hippocampal proteome, a set of proteins produced in a brain structure crucial for memory formation, becomes similar to the proteome of young mice. So the brain starts working according to a different pattern. The same compound, lactate, therefore has different functions in the brain at different stages of life, when young. It is necessary to remember new information and learn, but once the brain is formed thanks to it, it blocks its further plasticity. Professor when asked if the mouse's brain might have lost some of its memories during this rejuvenation treatment, Rakus replies that it does. In order for the brain to be ready to accept new information, perhaps some of the weakest memory traces were erased, he estimates. The scientist compares this process to what happens in two to three-year-old children when there is a great erasure in the brain. However, at this age, the so-called childhood amnesia, children lose a lot of memories. This is why people do not remember almost anything from the first two to three years of their lives. The strongest memory traces are not lost. The researcher supposes that a similar thing could have happened in the experiment with aged mice. The researcher points out that the inhibitors of glycogen breakdown, which were administered to animals in the experiment, blocked the breakdown of this polysaccharide not only in the brain, but also throughout the body. And the rapid breakdown of glycogen in the muscles is, after all, essential during intense physical exercise. We did not notice that this had a negative impact on the physical fitness of the mice. But they may not actually be able to break mouse records in sports competitions comments the researcher. Such mice will probably also tolerate periods of prolonged fasting worse, because the decomposition of glycogen in the liver is a source of glucose for the body in case of food shortage. But the mice in the lab were not starving. The research was carried out at the University of Wrocław in cooperation with the Institute of Experimental Biology Nenkai Pa in Warsaw, Max Planck Institute of Biochemistry in Martinsride, Wrocław University of Science and Technology, Wrocław University of Environmental and Life Sciences, Wrocław Medical University and the Institute of Immunology and Experimental Therapy. Hirschfeld Par in Wrocław, and the research was financed by the National Science Center.